Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is the basic unit for mass. So in classical physics and most sciences, we tend to use the international system, the SI system, and here there's conventionally the MKS system of units in which M stands for meters, K stands for kilograms, and S stands for seconds. So the basic unit of mass would be the kilogram. Uh, alternatively, there's also the CGS system uh, under the SI set of units, and C is centimeters, G is grams, and S is seconds. But kilograms is the primary unit for mass that is used uh, in physics, for example. If we consider atomic systems, or in chemistry, uh, we would like to use the units of atomic mass units, or AMU for short. And one AMU is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a carbon-12 atom. And this is approximately equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So it's a very small number. If we go to atomic physics or subatomic physics, a more appropriate or natural unit of measure for mass is actually a unit of energy. We know from Einstein's energy mass equivalence formula, E equals mc squared, that the rest mass of a particle can actually be formulated in terms of rest mass energy, where the speed of light squared is the conversion factor. Therefore, the standard unit of energy in subatomic physics is the electron volt. And we see this because the mass can be written as the energy divided the speed of light squared. So, this electron volt mass, it's understood that we're dividing by the speed of light squared. So these are the different common units for mass in physics and in chemistry and related sciences. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is the basic unit for mass.